All right, welcome everyone. We're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we're here for Yu Yu Hak Show, episode 38. Kurama, mm -hmm. good luck. Yeah. Good luck. You didn't kill that dude, and now you are you are definitely paying the price. How are you yeah. actually going to be able to win this yeah. fight? Yeah, you're going to need to be a little bit more ruthless than this. Uh-huh. Because uh, you, you, you usually were. Yeah. And now your kindness is kind of being uh, exploited here. Right. So, so. Given that we still have, you know, a lot more fights to do against mm -hmm. uh, against this team, uh, team, uh, team uh, Macho, 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 yes, Macho, yes. Mm -hmm. and uh, Yusuke could maybe do all the other fights after this one. Maybe you still need to, you know, not die. Right. Maybe maybe Kuwabara can tap in after this one and and give a solid fight. He seems Ugh. physically up He's to it. He's not trapped in the whole thing with the not right. medic tent. So maybe he could stall out, you know, give them some time to recover or something. But yeah, sure. This is not looking good. This is really really bad. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, possibly, possibly though. Um, he ends up having the ability to speak with his opponent and find some way maybe. to have a conversation in the midst of the fight and maybe bring about some some interesting mm -hmm. dynamics there maybe he trades something he leverages some aspect of knowledge or what have you yeah. yeah he can't even use his abilities uh, like yeah, yeah. okay so. <laughs> good luck yeah <laughs> y'all without further ado let's get into this prepare yourself I'll make this quick. Okay. I wonder if he does. It's just quick, you know. Damn, this is and wrong. Just, he loses. Look, they make him fight. Darn it! If I was stronger, I could help out. I'm letting down my team, and now he's gonna die. Oh, Kubara! You're here. still has one weapon he can use. Time. The first curse should wear off soon, and Kurama oh. will be able to move if he can stall Toya long enough. Perhaps ah, his so he talks to. That's nice, but I'd rather stay realistic. Stall no jitsu. Let's yep. go, baby. But the other guy probably knows about the time limits Give on me the your abilities. Story. I want to know Please, yeah. who I'm fighting. One thing first. Yes, yes. Why? The shinobi have always dealt with their affairs in secret. Why expose yourselves now? That is a great question. Not very ninja-like. For light. Explain. Even the strongest tree will die if left in the dark. I find that to be the best way to describe us. A giant oak crashing through a dark soil, bringing order to an otherwise chaotic land. Whoa. The shinobi have done their job for centuries, and done it well. Always underneath the surface, roots just growing. Whoa. But in recent years, we have caught glimpses of the outside world and asked, why not us? Have we not earned the privilege others take for free? Hmm. We are entering a new era, and we will begin with a land of our own. This Whoa. Island. Okay. Whoa. Cool. It has already been arranged that if we win this tournament, Hanging Neck Island will be our prize. Wow. Nice. Big deal. Yeah. I like it. <laughs> the ninjas are revolting. <laughs> the shinobi have survived centuries by each master passing their knowledge to one apprentice before he dies. The previous masters must have made poor selections. These fighters don't know their place. Whoa. Wow. The diss. Uh huh. What's that? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Toya's Genesis and Angus power into a wave of freezing air, and this girl's really wishing she'd worn insulated tights. Ha <laughs> ha! Yes! This announcer's incredible! Okay. Even with your energy sealed, I admit I'm somewhat hesitant to get near you. What with your little rose whip maneuver. <laughs> you understand. I'd rather kill long distance. <laughs> Shards of Winterton! Oh, he moved. Yeah, but probably not fast enough. Seems Kurama can finally move his arms and legs again, but it may not be in time to dodge this assault. Okay, I wonder if the ice cutting him could break the seals. There must be a way to reach my spirit energy. Better think of something quickly, Kurama. You can't dodge these forever. I love that it shows him running. I also love the shotgun approach of yeah. Kurama's never going to miss any, like all of them. Yeah. But like, just okay, bleed cool. him out. Yeah. No, Kuenma, sir, there must be something he can do. He needs to win this fight for the team. Don't be a numbskull. Without ah! access to his energy, the only thing he needs to do is quit. But what about heroism, sir? Determination? 
Ugh. Save it for your storybooks. <laughs> Much better to dump it all on use K. Ernie <laughs> Mike Baby is perfectly brave if the odds are too tough. Yes, sir. Is that so, Koema? Hey, what's with that tone in your voice? Oh, nothing, sir. Did you just roll your eyes at me? I think you just rolled your eyes. I know you're not disagreeing with the Super Almighty Koema. <laughs> God, I love Koema so much. Yeah. I have more of a spine than you do, sir. <laughs> Nothing, sir. Nothing. Wow. <laughs> no, sir. Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> His wits match my own. Unless I can find a way to my energy soon, he'll bleed me to death. Blood. Perhaps. Oh. This seal is powered by Gamma's blood. I can Perhaps paint over. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Oh, that's a good idea. Cool. Abilities. It will take much more than smearing to get rid of that seal. Rose! Yeah, I can't use it. Okay. Oh. You've noticed inklings of your energy inside your blood. Only one problem. To release enough to beat me, you'd have to bleed yourself dry. Well, okay. All right. Kurama, the bloodless warrior. I mean, that would be pretty awesome. Gamma's seal won't wear off any time soon. Admit it, Kurama. I'm holding the end of your life in my hands. Yes, keep stalling. Uh, 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 yep, yep. He's letting enough of them hit him to get more blood. Right. But they're all superficial wounds that aren't on his mm -hmm. torso. He's determined to take some more. They're on his, like, arms and legs. These drops won't get me anywhere. There must be another way if to he's my demonstrated power. he can't uh. use his thorn whip like this, why is he still staying away? He's back on his feet. The fight continues. This doesn't make sense. No one can survive all those direct hits from my ice attack. Not unless. You really are dangerous, aren't you? What? I haven't been making direct hits. You've been blocking your vital points with your own body. Oh. All right. You cool. Must be very old. Experienced. Perhaps as I am. This new life on the outside. What do you truly plan to do with it? <laughs> More talking and stalling, mm -hmm. yeah. The world will know just as soon as we get there. Nice, not just answer. <sighs> he's abandoning it. Yeah, he's going for melee. Right. Yeah, he's like, okay, I gotta kill you yep. now. Okay. I'm doing what he should have done from the beginning. Yeah. Ooh, that head just nearly flew off. A rather lucky move, my friend. Let's see how long you can keep that up. He's really good at dodging this ninja, despite how he couldn't move in the previous episode. Well, no, that's because that curse is gone. The slightest mistake, and I'll be killed. I can't afford the movement curse is gone. Longer. He can move now fully. No, it's they're still they're still going. No, no, it's. He can't use energy. He can't. He can't use energy right now. No more delaying the inevitable. It's time I take my responsibility and make my stand. Okay. It's a big, big wound for blood loss. Yeah. Sacrifice an arm. Son of a freaking bitch, Carl! <laughs> something incredibly stupid. <laughs> Strange, almost as I love it. Taking this fight personally. Is he going to do a similar thing? Let me do what I must, Yusuke. <sighs> oh, that was good voice acting. Yeah, I felt that. It seems that I've got to know you quite well in such a short fight, and I rather like you. Let's not have this slaying ruin our friendship. My thoughts exactly. Now, you should <laughs> run away. I can't guarantee a painless kill that way. Karama! Oh! So he lost enough blood that he was able to do it? But how? Your energy is locked inside of you. How could you manipulate your death plan? <gasps> oh. Insane. You actually oh. sent the death plan seed into your own body. Oh my god. My, option, my power is locked inside. By inserting the seed into my open wound, the plant could enter my bloodstream and take root in my imprisoned energy. Oh shit! Oh my That's god! That's awesome! Oh! Unbelievable turnaround! 
Okay. Oh. Now it's my turn. Karama's okay from doing that, isn't he? <laughs> There's a killer plant growing through his body. What do you think? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I love how it's something that was previously established, too. Quite impressive. We won! You see, Cohen Masur, there is something to be said for not giving up. Of course there is. I've been saying that this whole time, and you've been disagreeing. Mm -hmm. Not what I remember. You know, you've been very unpleasant lately, Ogre. Maybe after the tournament, I'll have to assign you to the Lake of Blood cleaning crew. Uh, 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 wait, sir. I don't think you have time to mess with that now. No, look down there. I think Toy is getting up. Why didn't you tell me? Five, six. Okay. Seven. Eight. Nine. Whoa. All right. Oh. Cool. Karama wins. Karama! Okay. Please kill me. I will not. Again. Yeah. Mercy. Wow. You never answered. What do you plan to do with this mm -hmm. island? If you yeah, it, he's genuinely okay. interested. I too have spent years in shadow. Nice. How unexpected regret can appear. That's what this oh. thing does. Oh. Oh. I only wanted to know if could make your life better no awesome than mine has been Kurama! yeah that's a shot and he just passes out from the pain yeah what a badass <laughs> that listening you're for a heartbeat Wait, people Kurama still has a faint heartbeat it appears he slipped into unconsciousness while still on his feet okay yeah are all mine not so fast oh come on what <laughs> back in. okay you forgot something he's standing in the ring yes it looks to me like he's volunteering to fight again <laughs> oh give me a break Carl jump in there and throw him out of the ring anymore i'm taking this fight jump in then yeah jump in all right uh team captain decides you stay versus back in yeah, yeah all right yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Team captain. Woo. Mm -hmm. Good job. Good job. The next fight will be Karama versus Back. Woo. What? A fighter standing in the ring cannot be removed against his will. As will cannot be determined here, the fighter remains. No way. Think about it, Hie. pissed. <laughs> Looks like you're not needed anymore, kitten. Oh, okay. That's right. it. That's it. This is some bullshit. You must have such a big penis, Bakken. He's hitting someone who's completely defenseless. Clearly not the honor code type. Yay! He is going to murder. Oh. Okay, good, Karana's good. He's not. Definitely down. Back in. Step away so I can start the count. You again? I'm just gonna do my job, okay? Yeah. Nobody humiliates my sect and gets to slip away with a Five, ten count. Six. You're humiliating yourself. Nine and say ten. It's propping him back up. Oh, yeah. Look, he's on his feet again. Uh huh. Yes, that means he wow. Okay. Karama's selfless acts and wow. rulings by the committee have pitted the unconscious fighter in a whole new match. What will the outcome be? And he is just, just. Just stewing yeah. in like uh -huh. frustration at being unable to do anything. Like, like, oh. imagine if like it's it's not gonna happen. But imagine if Karama did die here. Like, I don't think he will though. I don't think so either. Okay, okay. All right. So we have a bit of a disagreement. We over do some things in we this do. episode here. There, were, but before we get into that, I gotta say the way that K Karama ended up taking this guy out at the end, I absolutely loved the whole mm. thing of. Like the energy being sealed within him, so then he takes the the death seeds that he had used in a previous fight mm -hmm. and puts them inside himself, so that then he can use his spirit energy within his own body to yeah. get it to grow and then go out of his body and then attack his opponent. Right. Awesome. And he doesn't Love actually it. need to use really that much of anything of his spirit power in order to make those things grow. That's just a natural trait that they have. Mm -hmm. Is it his spirit power came from just the fact that he guided them towards the specific right. attack? Exactly. Uh, yep. Just towards the guy's um, attack mm -hmm. coming into him, but then also the way in which he actually generated them to begin with. Mm -hmm. 
So cool. we have we have two kind of tactical measures of this fight here in that Kurama cannot actually strike back in any real manner against him for the duration of the fight. He right. also has to find some way in which he can use some kind of spirit energy in order to make an attack eventually right. because he cannot count on the time uh, duration aspect like he did for with the, first, the one. first curse. Yep. Then he figures out, oh, wait, if I erase enough of it with my own blood, maybe because blood carries some aspect mm -hmm. of spirit energy, which it has to potentially, well, not necessarily yeah. has to, but has maybe yeah. some aspect of that with the fact that the previous fighter used his own blood in the actual mm -hmm. makeup of the paint. Okay. Right. It was okay. a it was a good idea as a way to try and try and get rid of it, and it didn't work. And I gotta say, I really appreciate that having, it didn't work. Really, that yeah. it didn't work because yeah. it's things where you know the protagonists don't have everything they touch turned to gold. Right? They can try things, and it doesn't work. And it's like, hey, that's a good idea. Yep. You gave it a shot. Unfortunately, that's not how it works. Right. You know, yeah. keep keep thinking. Right. Yeah. Good stuff. Good stuff. And the and the end shot of of the way that Kurama, you know, dealt with him and things like that. And the fact that it didn't kill him because it wasn't enough to kill him because it was just the one wound. Yeah. And that Kurama didn't want to kill this guy. I believe that a lot more than him not wanting to kill the previous guy because it's the thing of, oh, mm -hmm. you're trying to make a home. Oh, I get that. Yeah. I, 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 I feel a, a kindred spirit here, you know. Yeah. Yeah. And, and the idea that the old fox basically mm -hmm. steps into the ring and sees, in some ways, the young apprentice, who's not necessarily young, just, just the right. idea that someone who comes in with that dream, and he goes, this is my dream. We're mm -hmm. going to change the way that we do things here. We're yep. going to adapt. Oh, I'm currently, maybe even now, in the midst of that. I have found somewhat of a new family right now. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I can truly change maybe who I am, but... Hmm. Right. Okay. Yeah. You you deserve you deserve a chance at at life to actually make this happen, even if it's not necessarily going to be in this tournament where you yep. get to make that. You can try again after this if you get to live through this fight. So right. I will give you that opportunity because, yeah, I I value life in the same way that I know when it's the right time to take it. Uh -huh. I know when it's the right time to spare a life. So yes, cool. Kurama being referred to as kind of the old fox is. It just it's fitting, fits. yeah, it fits yeah. More really than well. more than just the the yeah. mechanical, you know. But I call fits. absolute bullshit on this guy jumping in, and then the announcers being like, "Well, well, it has yeah. to be of their own will." Which, which I would say, mm -hmm. I would say is a decent rule yep. in that you should make it where if a fighter jumps into a ring and says, "I want to take this fight," the rest of the team can't go, "No, no, 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 we're pulling you off." Right. They're like, no, no, no. Each fighter has their own decision to make. Yep. But because Kurama's will wasn't necessarily mm -hmm. provable to go in, it's a it's a it's a logical fallacy to say that it's his will to stay there just as much as it is is not his right. will to stay there. But it's something that they can kind of use, and it's and it's and it's one of those things where it's the the having the pretense of like ah oh, we're still kind of following the rules even though it's. Blatantly. Oh, it's absolutely. It's 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 absolutely like, like like none of the none of the demons in the stands are are even remotely convinced that this is. They not, don't care. They don't care, right? They, yeah, they they're really against yeah. the idea of humans, even right. though apparitions are working with humans here, mm -hmm. coming in here and having this fight because it's well, yeah, it's it's an abomination to them. Right. It's it's a it's a it's it's. It's it, it's it's wrong. It's yep. a, it's it's a societal disrespect against all of them to have someone even maybe like Kurama who they maybe some of them do know of or respect mm -hmm. or what have you. At least I think they did kind of with Hie. Yeah. Uh, I think Hie was maybe a little bit more known. But I, mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah. But yeah. it's it's something where why keep up the pretense of like ah there's a reason for all of this as opposed to just we want to fuck with you guys. Like and we have the arbiter rules. Right. Of like, exactly. Nope. This and it and it's something where I I then appreciated the thing they did with I I forget the guy's name but but mm -hmm. Mr. Businessman. Yeah. Of him leaving the VIP lounge. Yeah. And it's yeah. like well what are you what are you doing why are you coming down here it's like. Well, this is a lot more entertaining, right? Because I, you're you're bad, you're bad fight company, you know. Right. And then right, the exactly. guy just keeps on doing the exact same thing that he was saying is why he 
went away from him in the first place. Yeah. Which was just nice and kind of tongue in cheek there. Mm-hmm. But it, it gives us a lot more hope for him as a future antagonist. Right, exactly. Than it does for the old guys who are just there to make their quick bucks, right? Yeah. <laughs> this will all go the way that we plan. You know, right. that whole I, thing. I, I kind of liked also that Taguro kind of came down with him to maybe join him and have a little bit of a conversation once the old guy skedaddled sco- yeah. out. Right. Yeah. Um, he a very much <laughs> though is is she wants at blood the he he looks like he's about to ruin his other arm just uh-huh. to get out of here yep yep he's not having this and i am i am so excited to to have the the thing that it, that was you know kind of just the 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 plot mechanic you know the plot tool of them being sealed away right. and watching this as a way to basically build up the emotional stakes of whatever happens post this yeah cool awesome yeah, yeah. All right. So, so let's get down to the the where it. we where we disagree. Yeah. So the whole thing now now uh, one thing that I'll say at the beginning of this is that I had a I had a uh, I did not understand going into it one of the what that um that Karama had actually succeeded in running out the timer for the things. I knew that that was what he was intending to do, but so I was a bit confused in the reaction. But even so, I think it's kind of. Okay, like, so so here's here's the variables where I think that need to be mm-hmm. considered because um, because I think your original look at it was missing critical info, like you totally. lacked critical information. Yep. Mm-hmm. You might lack still even more. Okay, main go for thing it. is that just because the guy said that, oh, I know what you're trying to do, doesn't mm-hmm. mean that he knew at the very beginning necessarily that that's what was going on. I. Also, also okay. another thing. Mm-hmm. Just because this uh, ninja here, specifically, uh-huh. who also is willingly admitting that he's going to be denying an aspect of what it is to be a shinobi and living in the shadows and wants mm-hmm. to come out into the light, might look at this and go, "Yeah, absolutely understand that Kurama is a dangerous fighter." Mm-hmm. Yep, but. In the midst of being unable to move, mm-hmm. he was still able to just flip his hair and instantly yep. basically kill right. the other guy. However, so while the guy while Karama is operating under both curses, uh-huh. yep. there's no determining factor that the other guy can figure out as to when he knows that he knows that Kurama is able to move. So he tests it immediately with a ranged ability, and Kurama is able to move. Except he doesn't test it immediately. So now I'm going to go into the reasons okay. why I why I don't like how this happened. Now, from from the standpoint of their because because the thing is is that in my mind the setup was so good of making this be an impossible an impossible match yeah. for for Kurama yeah. that I don't like the the way the first curse was handled. I like how the second one was handled. The whole you know and, and I and I mentioned that, that the whole thing of putting the stuff in his blood awesome yeah. right. It's a great way to fight back. He said that oh i know what you're i know what you're trying to do now granted like you said there is a possibility that he realized that while he was talking after or however there was no element of oh i figured it out he said i know what you're doing that implies confidence that nothing basically has changed now while he is very proud lying and yeah yeah. he could be totally lying and proud and and i will and and i will say not genkai specifically said this guy's a dumbass right now he was like he combated that with well, he knows his techniques, though. This guy doesn't. This guy doesn't shy away when it comes to training. He's disciplined. He's professional. Wait, hmm. This seems odd. You know, yeah. th- those are th- now that could just be a nice contradiction. You know, like he's he's professional, con- but also he's cocky, dumbass, whatever. Right. Well, there's 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 this but, contradiction, and also we're not finished learning things about his character. Sure. Yeah. yeah. And and the characterization that stuff that we got from him was really good. And as far as if you're going to have something that will make him talk, even though he knows that Karama's trying to trick him, have it be something like that, because that is a hugely emotional reason, right? So from, hugely. <laughs> yeah, I got you. I guess you're, you're 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 insulting my no, no, choice no. of words no, as a way to try and pick apart my argument. No, no, no. Wow, that's incredible. No, I was <laughs> sorry. I'm that's okay. a joke. You, you, right. you aren't in on the joke. Sorry. Okay. Go ahead. So He's on a team with this guy. They work together, right? Mm-hmm. They're here to fight. And he specifically says, I won't let your sacrifice go to waste. And then he proceeds to 
specifically let his sacrifice go to waste. And then even after he says the thing of, I know what you're trying to do, you're trying to buy time, mm -hmm. right? Um, then the first thing he does is not actually an attack, it's something to limit mobility. One, they're already on the arena, so there's not really any need to do that. Two, he currently has his limbs all tied together, so he can't move anyways. If he had done just a ranged attack like he had done from the beginning, Kurama would have been dead, right? Or at the very least, much more like crippled and things like that. But, but again, you don't know that he couldn't move at that point. Nothing in the show told us when he could move until he moved. I'm with you, but I think that's that's the issue, is that the show doesn't basically put it into a situation where we get perfect info at to the exact point when Karama is able to move. That's that's that's, that's true. Yeah. I would that that is um that is a stretch for me to believe that he one wouldn't think, oh well then let's Maybe do that. Find out. Well, yeah, I'll find out first. I'll attack him first, right? Like mm -hmm. like and and now granted the other the other thing that that was that seemed odd but he potentially has a reason for why to think this since we don't know fully how the mechanics of the world work with the powers and everything there was a possibility that he didn't realize that Karama's thorn whip was something that used his spirit power that's something sure. that i feel like is that's tough to say because it seems like something that's clearly supernatural and if the only thing you have is spirit power then once that's sealed away why did he like because because the the seal of the spirit power that was something that he didn't have when he did the head whip thing that i if it was just that i would understand that as a reason to keep your distance right and then you're using okay. ranged attacks and all that stuff and and whatnot right and karama is able to stall out time and things like that but there was just a lot of things where it's like i i'm either doubting this guy's yeah. competence his his uh yeah. his status as an as a ninja which ninjas are all about attacking in ways that are like you know yeah, not fair and, and all also that. Wanting to abandon that as being different than the way he's doing things before well, by going into the the light, as he called. Well, that that was we want a place in society yes, and to yes, take over the that's, world. That's you very know, true. That's like, very true. Like that, yes, that doesn't necessarily mean he wants to abandon his teachings. If anything, he seemed to respect the teachings of his master very much. Yeah. You know. Yeah, that was that was something that he had deduced, right? Right. But then Genkai also deduced that this person the master was, chose very poorly yes you know? yes yeah. this guy's a dumbass basically right yeah so so i would i would say that we're basically nitpicking a, a matter of seconds basically in that there was a point when he realized <sighs> that there was a point that he realized that karama mm. had talk no jutsu he had, no, had talk no stalled him no, basically I, and then mm. in between that and the ranged attack is the time you're saying he should have attacked but I the agree. thing is is that even that even that is saying that that we as the audience should basically add additional things to the narrative that was not included. The the implications, as far as we can tell, is that he did not seem surprised by the fact that Karama was trying to talk him into into stalling things, right? That's so, an interpretation. Well, I, I okay, you, but, but but you know, if 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 you would say that there's a different interpretation that is that is more like if if the other way of looking at it is the more like obvious, like straightforward one, then I would be very surprised what made you think that because you know, there was there was no element of surprise or him seeming to have new information or figure things out, right? It's just, I know what you're doing, right? Mm. So, yeah, it. I, I don't know. I I, <sighs> I think that I think that a lot of people say they know that something is going a certain way, right? But then that's us needing to project more information than what the show actually gave us about this guy, and we shouldn't have to do that. We shouldn't have okay. to basically just, add that's, explanation. That's such a minor nitpick in my mind that I, I, don't, I don't I don't care. I disagree, but. But the uh, but I understand why you why you think that. But the second half, the whole thing that Karama did for the second curse, excellent, absolutely loved it. But yeah. Okay. So yeah. so have you anything more you want to say? Nope. Okay. I although I guess I would I would love to hear your guys' thoughts. You know, of of did this also have that kind of vibe of like, okay, the you know the the plot armor maybe is showing a bit you know because of course Karama's not gonna die I mean although he could now theoretically right but but that just seemed like everything was stacked up so well that this guy had to be really incompetent in order to not take advantage of it when again he's a ninja right you know right. that that seems I, like that would be their thing like knowing let, how to let take me let me bring something stuff. up here though let me yeah. let me bring something up here though you have more of a problem with this though. Mm -hmm. Then the big guy coming in and not one shot in Karama. 
Uh, why, why, why is it different? No, it's just that precedent has been set. Because if this guy wasn't able to beat Karama, then of course this guy's not going to be able to. You know, like, like of, of course he's not gonna one-shot Karama. Now, there's something in the ego of him that says, I'm also going to play with my food, you know? Sure. Right? Whereas this guy didn't seem to have that kind of, like, like he's, the first thing he said is, I'm going to take advantage of my friend's sacrifice that died to let this happen, or, or I think no, died? No, he didn't no. die. No, okay, but the point is, of my friend's sacrifice, and then he yeah. proceeded to do everything but Actually, that. did he die? I think he might have. He might have. Yeah. I'm so lost right. in this whole thing mm -hmm. here, trying to but, yeah. follow here. And, and, yeah. and, after some, and after what I think is a bit like heavy-handed with the, with the first curse, then yeah, the second guy coming in, or the, or the third guy, I guess, um, doesn't doesn't surprise me you know gotcha gotcha yeah, yeah i feel like i feel like just to understand because i still feel like you don't understand why I, this is something where i'm i'm not i'm not uh -huh. at all bothered by is that this is a show specifically like this is a show that you could nick pit the shit out of so many things and right. this is the kind of thing that's a fight dude like like this is not a characterization issue this is not a um this is not a uh, this is not a contradiction of someone's like writing like character writing kind of stuff. This is a moment of where we interpret based on the delivery of the story medium itself that a character lacks competence, which is happening constantly in this show. Sure. And so it's 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 oh. very it's very odd for me to go so in on one here because it's just it just admit it's your brand of thing that triggers sure. you. It's and not actually a real problem. It's just well, a thing that happens. Uh, art all is art is all subjective, you know. So no, totally. You know, I'm not saying that. Yeah. I'm not saying that there's some objective reality to this. Mm -hmm. But I'm saying that this time, subjectively, mm -hmm. it mattered to you. Right. Whereas in every other time it happened and, in this show, and, and that is a great point. Way I, worse than this, in my yeah, opinion. I think the reason why it mattered so much to me in this one is because it felt so weird that Karama let the guy get the curse on him, sealing his sealing his spirit energy in the previous fight. Like I want there to be, I, I wanted there to be basically some consequences. It felt like something that was where the stakes were arbitrarily elevated, and then also deflated. Like, 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 like can, you yeah, know, yeah, yeah. But, but, can, but, can I, can I, can I pull back on you with this here? Uh -huh. There's a certain level of what I would call, uh, what, no, what's the, what's the phrase? When you, when you, suspension of disbelief. Right. Suspension yeah. of disbelief is something that the audience mm -hmm. is actually somewhat responsible for bringing their own measure of it to sure. the media they're that watching they're watching. watching a fictional thing. Spirit energy doesn't exist and all that stuff. No, 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 no. I, that's, that's part of it. But another part of it, generally, and mm -hmm. this is why some people really get like, like twisty things specifically, is that the protagonist is not gonna die when there's 70, 100 totally. plus episodes. Right, and it's not about, it's not about the, the outcome, it's about making sure that you don't see the man behind the curtain, right? That the, that the, the illusion is maintained so that right. that way it's satisfying. Right. And if but, it's not, then it ends up not being satisfying. No, I, I'm with okay. you. I'm saying that um, there is more responsibility, in my opinion, on the audience then uh then you, no 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 oh, don't, okay you don't oh, interrupt oh. wait until i'm done here all right there's more responsibility on the audience than i think that you generally put on yourself for these kinds of shows interesting yeah. so I, you end up losing out on your opportunity for fun because every once in a while you try to like hyper analyze on a thing that is very clearly just a writing choice. That's why sure. an example of this, this is, is this is like Saturday morning cartoons kind of thing. Well, like, well, no, but but like the idea when a protagonist makes a mistake, mm -hmm. you do have to sell them, sell the audience that there's a reason for their incompetence in this point here. Sure. Yeah. The reason for it though might not be something that they can give a lot of time and focus to, so they trust the audience to basically go, no one's perfect. People make mistakes, that kind of thing. Yeah. So an example, when a character gets incompetent on the antagonist side, mm -hmm. usually we let that happen all the time because it's a, it's a thing that we kind of accept that the protagonists are probably going to win just in general. Like, mm -hmm. for example here, Team Urameshi is not going to lose at this fight in the tournament. Sure, and we could just montage through the entire tournament and say, yeah, they beat everybody and now they're fighting Taguro, but that right, wouldn't be but, satisfying. But that wouldn't be satisfying. So yeah. let's have a story in there in the right. midst of it exactly. that has some fun stakes and stuff. Yep. But it's our responsibility, in addition 
to primarily the show's responsibility uh-huh. to let ourselves get basically sucked into what the, the story is trying to tell. Uh-huh. And then when those little moments pop up, you realize, d- depending on who you are, you're not, you're not going to notice those things. Some but I, people would, some people wouldn't. Like but I you, feel like you might notice them more than I would, for instance. You know, sure, potentially, yeah. And 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 yeah, you you have to be you have to be willing to accept the things that are given to you in the story. Mm-hmm. Otherwise, why why are you watching it? You know, like yeah. that that whole yeah. thing. But exactly. I feel like in this case, it was something where the stakes were specifically piled up, ridiculously high. Right. Uh huh. Which makes me think then that it's like, okay, yeah, we're building up for, like, how is Kurama going to do this? And again, the, the second that's half of it, what, yeah, I love it, that's what right? That's did, yeah. Right. But the first half doesn't seem like anything of Kurama being good. It just seems the other guy being yeah, awful. Yeah. And I, I, can, I can absolutely, like, accept it just on the basis that the guy is arrogant and said, I know what you're doing, which mm-hmm. is code for, I see now what you're doing. But I disagree on that. But okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. And, mm. and I'm saying that that's all that's all that I think you'd need to have in order to enjoy it. Yeah. Yeah. Literally, if it had been something of like, oh, like if, if it had been just, oh, damn, he's trying to shit. He asked me about that thing I really care about, yeah. you know, then then that would have been fine. Right. Yeah. But that's that's the difference between getting like the full internal look at it versus just uh, assuming that people don't perfectly understand what someone is trying to do there's a reason why he didn't say this at the beginning of what this guy was talking about here like there's a reason why he didn't say it then like just saying he I, said it at the end when the guy was when when Karama and him totally. were talking so yeah 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 but that yeah, yeah. I, I'm curious to know know y'all's thoughts on this one because yeah, yeah. yeah yeah yep but okay um this fight though is leading into the next one Yusuke is not allowed to even jump on the stage and go into this fight here and take over. I, so, so I Kurama th- might, might get, um, might get put into a situation where either he wakes up from all this or the guy beats him so bloodily that he's then left on the ground on the mm-hmm. side and then Yusuke just defends his right Half beaten corpse yeah as it's off the arena yeah the way the way i i could see this going is that like kurama basically loses here right mm. and is beaten so badly that he's like he's out of the he's out of the tournament he's forever. out of the tournament right and the yeah. way that he could theoretically you know do this mm-hmm. now although given that the guy stood him back up on his feet he could totally get around this too is that karama like gets off of the stage right if he manages oh. to like fall off the stage and then there's the That's count saying yeah but but the guy could easily just pick him up and put him back on the stage since he's since he already stood him back up you know mm-hmm. um but yeah so i'm now I, I'm really curious how this is going to go, because this is where I would expect there to be, even if it wasn't a character death, like some such severe ramifications and damage to Kurama as like his, his body and everything mm-hmm. that it has long lasting effects, even if it's not like he's actually killed. Yeah, I don't expect there to be like necessarily long lasting effects. Uh-huh. This is this is well, uh, if this there's is not in an I... era. This is in well, an era specifically okay. where that's generally Putting... not all right, all right. A, a thing that. Uh, that's what I expect from the things that the story has presented. Looking at the meta aspects of the story, I could totally see them not doing that, but it it will be a hard sell for me to have that not yeah, happen. Yeah, I, I think that we can safely say, though, that Kurama is going to lose this fight. <laughs> if he somehow wins, I will be beside myself. Yeah. But y'all, thank you so much for watching this episode's reaction and discussion. If you want to see the next episode's reaction and discussion right now, though, go check out the link in the description below. For our Patreon, you can get an early access there. You can watch full-length timer reactions there, and all this comes with Discord access, so you can chat with us in the community there about this show, about anime in general, and also be sure to check out our Twitch channel. We stream every weekday. The info's in the description. Yes, if any of that interests you, we'll see you there. But until then, we're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we'll see you all next time. time.